Footage has captured Iran air defense working to shoot down Israeli missiles launched during an attack on the country. The video shot in Tehran shows air defense fire lighting up the pre-dawn sky Saturday. Iran's military said early Saturday that Israeli strikes on the country targeted military bases in Ilam, Khuzestan and Tehran provinces, causing limited damage. Recall, the Israeli military said it had concluded its air attack on Iran, saying it hit the Islamic Republic's missile manufacturing facilities, surface-to-air missile arrays and other aerial capabilities in several regions. Based on intelligence, Air Force aircraft struck missile manufacturing facilities used to produce the missiles that Iran fired at the State of Israel over the last year, the military said in a statement. Simultaneously, the military struck surface-to-air missile arrays and additional Iranian aerial capabilities that were intended to restrict Israel's aerial freedom of operation in Iran, the military added. It said the strike was conducted in response to recent Iranian attacks against Israel and its citizens. Our planes have returned safely. The retaliatory strike has been completed and the mission was fulfilled, the military added. The scale of the attack was not immediately clear, and there was no information on damage in the Islamic Republic. A Tehran resident told AP that at least seven explosions could be heard in the capital. Recall, on October 1st, Iran fired nearly 200 ballistic missiles at Israel in response to the killing of the Hamas and Hezbollah leaders as well as an Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps general. Israel has since threatened to deliver a deadly, pinpoint accurate, and surprising retaliation, without specifying any time frame. آسمان شهر تهران بعد از شلیک دوباره پدافند هوایی کاملا امن بدون هیچ آتش انفجار و یا دودی تصاویر که همکنون میبینید مرکز شهر تهران میدان بهارستان ساختمون مجلس شورای اسلامی برج میلاد تهران از دور کاملا امن بدون هیچ دود و حادثه امروز شنبه پنجم آبان ساعت حدود پنج خورده صبح آسمان شهر تهران بعد از شلیک دوباره پدافند هوایی کاملا امن بدون هیچ آتش انفجار و یا دودی تصاویری که همکنون میبینید مرکز شهر تهران میدان بهارستان ساختمون مجلس شورای اسلامی برج میلاد تهران از دور کاملا امن بدون هیچ دود و حادثه امروز شنبه پنجم آبان ساعت حدود پنج خورده صبح ببینی
The spokesman for the Israeli army said on Thursday that the army killed a Hamas commander who was involved in the killing and kidnapping of Israelis in southern Israel. Mohammed Abu Itawi killed Israeli women and men who were in the Nova party in a cruel and barbaric manner, Hagari said. In his briefing, Hagari refused to say when Israel might attack on Iran, adding that now the army is dismantling and capturing Hezbollah faculties and weapons in Lebanon while continuing their operation in Jabalia in the northern Gaza Strip. Israeli forces have repeatedly returned to Jabalia, a densely populated urban refugee camp dating back to the 1948 war surrounding Israel's creation. The North has already suffered the heaviest destruction of the war and has been encircled by Israeli forces since late last year. Israel ordered the entire population of the northern third of Gaza, including Gaza City, to evacuate to the south in the war's opening weeks and reiterated those instructions this month. Israel dramatically escalated its attacks on parts of Lebanon on September 23, killing nearly 500 people and wounding 1,600 in one day after nearly a year of skirmishes along the Lebanon-Israel border between Israeli troops and the militant Hezbollah group. Israeli ground forces invaded southern Lebanon at the beginning of October. More than 2,574 people have been killed in Lebanon and over 12,000 wounded in the past year of war, according to the country's health ministry, and around 1.2 million people are displaced. Most of the population fled last year, but around 400,000 people are believed to have remained. On October 7, 2023, Hamas-led militants blew holes in Israel's security fence and stormed in, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting another 250. Hezbollah began firing rockets, missiles and drones into Israel, drawing retaliatory airstrikes, Israeli ground forces invaded southern Lebanon at the beginning of October. אנחנו ראינו את חמאס מנסה להשתקם וחוזר והופך את ג'באליה למעוז טרור. צריך להגיד שבצפון הרצועה יש עוד מחבלים. וחלק מהפעולה שלנו עכשיו הוא גם להרוג את המחבלים האלה. ג'באליה היא מעוז כזה, ואנחנו עכשיו מפרקים אותו. לנו יש תוכניות. אני בוודאי כאן, מעל הבמה הזו, לא אתן לא את העיתוי, לא את המקום. ולא את האופן שבו אנחנו נפעל בהתאם להנחיית הדרג המדיני. אנחנו נעשה מה שנכון ומתי שנכון. עד כה תפסנו יותר מ-3,200 מטענים וכ-2,500 טילים נגד טנקים, RPG, משגרים וטילי קורנט. בנוסף נתפסו רחפנים, אפודי לחימה, קסדות ותחמושת רבה. חלקם הושמדו במקום וחלקם הועברו לחקירה ולתיעוד ולשימוש באמצעות היחידה לפינוי שלל שבאגף הטכנולוגיה והלוגיסטיקה. כמות אמצעי הלחימה שאנחנו מאתרים ממחישה את חשיבות הפעילות הקרקעית של כוחותינו להסרת האיום על יישובי הצפון.